Hi, sometimes we may need to extend the Wi-Fi network to the new location. Let's say this is the primary network we have now and we want to have the Wi-Fi on location B. And the most simple solution is we can use the TFI year CAS6 Ethernet cable to connect these two routers together. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the fiber optic cable. So the first thing is why fiber optic cable. The fiber optic cable provides fast speed and long distance low latency. The maximum distance for the copper cable TFI ear case 6 is about 100 meter. If the distance is over 100 meter between these two routers, we need some kind of extension solution. With fiber optic cable, we can have like 10 kilometer between these two routers if there's no problem. And the speed we still can maintain 1,000 megabit per second. The extension solution we mentioned just now, the maximum distance, we need to downgrade the speed to 100 megabit per second. OK, now let's see what we need to set up the connection between point A and point B by using the fiber optic cable. The first thing we need is this two medial converter. You see, it cannot. The, the, it's just the lights travel through the fiber optic cable. So we cannot connect the fiber optic cable and send the light to both router directory. This is the electricity product. It doesn't recognize the light. What this media converter do? It convert the electricity signal to, to the optical signal so it can travel through the fiber optic cable. We're supposed to have two sitting both ends so we can work with the fiber optic cable. There's two ports. This is the RJ45 port we are familiar with. It's supposed to connect to the KFIE or K6 punch code and link to the router to get the data. Also, we have the power port. The media converter still need the power source. And the opposite side, this is the SAP slot. We still cannot use the cable with the, this media converter directory. We need to use the SAP transceiver. These two are SAP transceiver. And we need to install, insert the SAP transceiver to the media converter. Now let me do for the second one. Media converter is ready. This media converter will determine what kind of fiber optic cable you can use, single mode or multi-mode. Also, what kind of connector you can use, SC, LC, or ST. And there's still one more feature for this media converter. It's using the single fiber optic cable to transmit and receive the data. Usually we need to two cable, right? One to send, the other to receive. But this SAP module allow you to use, use the different wavelength. So technically you just need one cable. It can carry, send and receive the data for communication. All right, now let me just power up place these two media converter to both ends. Also, power up. Now you can see the indicator is on. Next, I use the punch code. Internet punch code to link the port to the new router. Let's move to the center. Still power up the media converter. We need another short punch code to connect the media converter to the main router. Now, the media converter is ready on both sides. It leaves us last thing is the fiber optic cable. It could be the challenge to persist the connector of the fiber optic cable. Unlike the K5 year K6, we can use the crank tool to make the connector. Technically, it's just the plastic inside the fiber optic cable. We cannot crank the fiber optic cable to make the connector. It will crash the plastic. So usually, we need a fusion tool. And also need special skill to make the fusion to get the connector. I think that could be one of the reasons why deploying the fiber optic cable is not so popular at this moment, even it has many advantages. This is the factory pre-terminal fiber optic cable. It's the single mode with LC connector. The connector is being 
persists in the factory and 100% test. So there's no need to deal with the terminal in the field. What we need to do is just plug and play. OK, now I just choose the one A. This is the A at the other A. And we also need to pick the A. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So what we need to do is just connect the cable to the media converter in the cent center. And now we move to the new location. Also, pick the 8, which is tab with 8. Now, connect into the second media converter. That's it. The new location is going to get the data from the center through this fiber optic cable. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.